Hello, today I'll show you how to make an accurate sound meter. As you can see when I talk, it will go up, and if I stop talking, it will go down. And it is pretty accurate, so let's get started. First, paint a sprite and name it sound meter. Then paint then use the circle tool make the fill a light grayish and the outline a darker gray and make it about the, the outline thickness about 8 press shift and make a circle and make the circle about 124 times 124 and make it a good color now use the line tool and make this copy pastel it put it in the middle both of them this one press shift and use arrow keys and do the same for the other one then slightly move it a bit select both oops select both copy pastel ro rotate then do the same again and when you rotate press shift like this now Use the text tool and make it white color and type in zero and make it a good size. Then type in 10. Then 20. Then 30. Then forty, fifty, sixty, and lastly seventy. Now, paint another sprite and name it Pointer. Pointer. And the other one is Meter. Use the circle tool and make the fill red. And drag out the circle. Then use the line tool, make it the same red and drag it out put it in the middle press shift to move it there now make sure it's about the same size like this and now in here when green flag is clicked switch costume to pointer create a clone of myself switch costume to meter and set size to 100 now forever go to zero zero now when I start as a clone we would do point in direction 90 and then Forever, make a new variable named dir for direction for this sprite only and set dir to dir times 0 0.8. But before you do that, we do a addition, then a divide by 5. 
and another divide in here which is 4.47 and then loudness like this and point in direction dir now it would be eh. oh and also make sure this is actually not divide but instead multiplication multiply it by 4.47 and go to front now this will actually be point to that and lastly this is 90 now as you can see when I talk it will go like this and if you hide the dir variable and show the loudness, it could do this. And if you replace loudness with a number, as you can see, it'll point to that number. And even in the middle of it. So that makes it really accurate. Now you have an accurate sound meter. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day.